Steve. Okay, uh, Daniel, congratulations. Thank and you uh, I saw the film yesterday. It's outstanding. Oh, jeez, thank you. Um, I remember last time when I spoke to you, you said the first one was so action packed, but you said you ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, yeah what? I was right, wasn't I? You were totally yeah. right. What, in your opinion, sets the two, you know, part one and two apart? What are fans going to expect from this? Part, part one is comparatively kind of like a slow burning drama. Like, it, it, this, is, this, is, this is an all out action film with moments of intense emotional drama interspersed. I mean, it's, it's, that's what you can expect from this. I mean, it's a, it's a, I've said it before, but it's a heist movie that turns into a war film. Um, and uh, it's, it's pretty fantastic. I mean, I was very pleased, and I'm, I'm normally a very harsh judge of these films, but um, I was very, very pleased with it. What ultimately challenged you making this one? Um, fi finding the, the emotional depth that you have to try and find for Harry in this film was 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 tricky, um, and I think I got there to to an extent, particularly towards the end. You know, I'm never going to be completely happy with my performance, but but I you know I enjoyed it as much as I could when I was watching it because I was thinking, yeah, actually I've I've. I was more pleased than I thought I would be. Well, let's talk Resurrection Stone. That scene, for me, blubbering fool. Were you? Okay. That's good, because my parents were too, and they were wondering if anyone else would be. Um, so what was that, it like for you to better. shoot that? It was a very hard scene, because um, I, I, I put a lot of pressure on that scene, because I was so aware that it was, it's a, it's a favourite moment of so many people's, including myself, um, that... I was so conscious that of wanting to get it right that I think on the day I ended up getting more frustrated with myself. But um, but I think in the end, what's on actually on screen turned out turned out really really well, and I'm encouraged by your response. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Um, you know, after all these years, I, I'm just wondering. You know, and, and growing up being Harry, and and what is the thing or the most important thing that you can take away from all of this experience? Um, I mean the memories. I suppose the memories of 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 my time on the set and with my, those friends and 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 friendships, you know, that will last the rest of my life. Um, that are just that I'm so lucky to have and have made and people I would never have met were it not for these films. Um, you know, it, so it's yeah, it's um, it's I suppose yeah, the memories. The, the friendships and two pairs of Harry Potter glasses. Well, I'll uh, take them away too. Yeah, you have to. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I would also think, Daniel, your work ethic. I don't think you would have had the work ethic that you had had not working on all. I mean, it's interesting. I, I think about this sometimes. Um, I think in part you're right, but also my parents are real workers. Um, the I, Dad's Irish, Mum's Jewish, so those, that's working blood. Um, and um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think I think I would have had some vestige of it, but I, I, I certainly don't think it would have been as much part of my identity as my work ethic is now. Yeah, um, I want to give you an opportunity here. This is, uh, you know, your fans are going to be saying goodbye to this series after sticking with you from, from oh, day yeah. one. What do you have to say to these devoted people who have been with you since day one? What do you want to tell them? Um, I would just like to say thank you so much for your, you know, unrelenting support um, across the years. Uh, I hope you've been satisfied with the films. Um, I'm sorry we haven't been able to leave everything in. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, and and now I, I I say what I've said in a couple of other interviews, what I, which is that I think Harry Potter fans have a, have a, a, a literary curiosity and imagination that is not um, necessarily associated with fans of all the big franchises, both past and present. Um, so I would say now take that curiosity out into the world and do extraordinary things with it. And now everybody can come and see you either on Broadway or in other films. Absolutely. We're looking forward to it. How has this experience been for you? Broad later? Broadway has been just amazing. I mean, always is amazing and is so welcoming of me and I'm very, very lucky to be on it. Well, we're very lucky to have you. And I, I, on a personal note, I've known you since you were 10 years old. It's been an honor and a pleasure to get oh. to know you. You are one amazing Amazing man. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank really, you so thank much. You. Thank you, Daniel. And I really.